What up guys? Super Mazaku here. I know y'all been asked for it. Yo, yo dog, where the hero at? Nigga, where the hero at? Nigga, dog, look, last week, uh, y'all, I done told y'all niggas, dog, I was on the move, I was moving. My room kind of effed up right now because it's like it's dirty and everything, so don't mind none of that. Don't mind none of the move back. I mean, <laughs> just look, take y'all niggas bitches, you feel me? Just walk out like this, this bitch be like, damn, suck. And I be like, damn, bitch, why you on my dick for? So, First off, I'm, this might sound a little fucked up what I'm about to say, but I'm a little disappointed that um, Tenya's brother ain't died. Um, <laughs> I wanted that nigga gone. I don't got nothing personal against him, but I feel like it adds more you know, depth and suspense you know, to the series and itself. You know, like you, you just added a death. So now it gets more serious. But you know, this nigga on this hospital bed, hopefully the hero killer, I forgot his name. His name was some, some gay shit, like Stain, like. Fuck, fuck is your name Stain for? Gay shit, like, Stain. Like, you wanna, what, hold on, hold on, what grown ass man wanna be called that shit? Fucking Stain? Niggas, niggas do this? Alright, whatever. So Stain fucked up 10 years people. <laughs> Stain, <laughs> get it together. Stain. <laughs> Alright. Stain. The fuck. Why can I say his name? Alright. St Stain fucked Tenya's brother up. That was last episode. This episode, we got to see uh, Bakugo versus um, Shoto. Yes, after like nine episodes in, I finally, you know, memorized his name as Shoto. I won't be calling him Zuko anymore. You know, he looks just like Zuko in every fucking way, besides the hair. And you know this whole thing with his mom being banished and shit. I don't know. I feel like and it, it, it follow Ozai's dad. It's, it's, it's so like I mean, look, I like Hero, but it, it look, look like they copied a little bit. Know, that's my fucking bed and shit. Like, she be acting weird as shit. This wall bed and shit. Like, come on. So, I feel bad for Bakugo, but this nigga was definitely just starting this episode. First off, um, we all knew this nigga ain't stand no chance against uh, Shoto. Okay. Let's stop pretending. Let's stop fanboying the comics. Oh, maybe he could have did something. No. And this nigga would have... If he would have fought uh, Deku, Deku would have decked that nigga. With that power that uh, Miyadora showed? No. He would have decked him. Easy. It took... Excuse me. It took both full power Shoto with fire and ice just to knock Deku out of bounds. So, it's like... Sorry, my nigga Bakugo, I, it's just like, you cool and everything, but as far as you trying to be this nigga's rival, mm, 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 no, 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 but uh, uh, I already told you guys, if you guys watch my other reviews, I, t I mind you, I, mean, I guess y'all read the manga too, but y'all watch my other reviews, I don't, I don't read the manga, I said this nigga Bakugo was gonna fucking win, I said, Deku and Shoto gonna have it out. We all crazy. Whoever fucking wins that fight, gonna go up against Bakugo. Regardless, they're gonna be more tired or a little fucked up from the last fight, whether it's mentally or physically. And that was it. Therefore, Bakugo won. He doesn't like his victory. I don't really like his victory. Uh, the episode was good. Uh, it was understandable. But I feel like, you know what I mean, Deku did pull the whole talk no dupe to on Shoto. I mean, if you don't think that, then come on. He put an entire talk no jutsu on Shoto. By the way, look, look at this, look at this clean, this clean shave, like shave clean as shit. I mean, of course you gotta keep the stash here, but yeah, clean ass shave. You feel me? But yeah, the match lasted like four minutes. I was hoping to get more than that. What was really cool was uh having Bakugo kind of like explode the ice to get through, but. This nigga, like, I just feel like Shoto could have beat Bakugo still as easily with just half his power. It just wasn't going to work, man. So, Bakugo, I don't know, do some work, hop in the hyperbolic time champ, something that can help you. Something that can help you, because we ain't on niggas' levels. Um, but as far as the character development goes, um, they really went all out for Shoto, you know, having, you know, after the fight and everything. First off, the medal ceremony with All Might 
All Might was fucking up. I feel like I was watching Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 30 when he was talking about like the, the Silver Dome with some weird shit like that. Like he was just botching all his lines. Um, I'm happy that my nigga, I think it's Toto, Tokoyami, whatever his damn name is, the Birdman. Birdman. You know, bird Birdman. Happy he got third place. They put my nigga Bakugo in <laughs> chains and a motherfucking, what did you call him? A, a muzzle? Yo, that shit was like, look, look, look. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I will go back and watch the episode, but I, I still got to catch up on the Tech on Titan and give y'all that review too. I got to give you guys the super review and I got to give, give you guys the bird to people discussion. But the way they had my nigga Baku go locked up in chains was pure genius, dog. But this nigga was just like the light of the episode. Congratulations on the victory. <laughs> Why am I fucking tired? But this dude. They put a muzzle on a 12 year old or 11 year old boy, did it? <laughs> he is mad as shit, dog. But, um. So we find out. I mean, I guess you guys already knew. I ain't know this nigga Shoto's mom was in the crazy home. I don't. I, don't, I ain't know all that. I ain't know all that. And Shoto's finally, you know, coming to visit her and all this other, you know, gay shit. And that kind of where his story doesn't end, but you know leads off to you know whatever we get updates next episode. But next episode seems to be a smaller time skip, whether it's week or a couple of months, because this is kind of like a whole arc in one. So I'm guessing they're going to do like two arcs in one season. I didn't, I didn't expect them to do that. So I'm happy that that is happening. But as far as this whole Olympics little hero thing, the whole thing was orchestrated perfectly. <laughs> you know, to me, it wasn't really a dull moment. Even they they made you care about even like the side side characters matches and their matches are pretty good as well. They executed everything perfectly. I feel like I'm watching like I don't want to say Hunter X Hunter X Hunter X Hunter as I said it was supposed to be this generation's Dragon Ball, but if not, it looks like my hero is creeping up on it because Hunter X Hunter apparently dude's coming back in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm right again for two fucking weeks. Fuck this nigga, y'all. Stop entertaining this nigga. Stop entertaining this Hunter x Hunter right now, cause he he gonna shit on y'all again. You could have easily hire writers to write shit for you. I gotta do Kishimoto doing that shit now. He like yeah, I mean I don't know how much money Hunter x Hunter. Wait wait, that shit made some money. She made a lot of money. You could hire somebody, pay this nigga chump change, cause y'all could get paid basically chump change for what the fuck y'all do. Yeah, you get paid for the manga, and it's not that much, but you get paid for the anime too. They gotta pay you for those rights, homie. And then all the the gang, uh, the, the Jason, yo, you getting money. This nigga's getting revenue, yo. Every time this nigga go on hiatus, my bad, we're going off topic with this review. But every time this nigga go on hiatus, he come back bitching about his stress. He ain't bitching about the money. He like, no, 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 no. He ain't say shit about the money. He ain't say, man, he ain't paying me enough. No. They, this nigga ain't slaving himself. Well, he is, but they not forcing him to slave himself. You can hire motherfuckers to do shit for you. you can do what Kishimoto doing. Have a, and after the show, yeah, I'm having just some niggas doing shit for you, but just tell them what to do. Yeah, have, you know what I mean, have God smack him here. Yeah, do that. Dude. All you gotta do is talk. Or have them make your story, give them like a little blueprint, they have them come to you and say, look, for approval, and you be like, yeah, this this could work, and you throw it out. You sitting at your desk writing it, that's why you stress, nigga. That's why you fucking stress, dog. Different methods, motherfucker. Different motherfucking methods. And you don't want to do them. But you want to bitch about the stress. Like, come on. You just bitching up. Come on. Fuck this nigga. But this episode, I'm giving it a rating of 8.5 out of 10 uh, as far as My Hero Academy goes. Um, I felt like I, f I was supposed to give more fucks against um, Yuraraka's uh, family, you know, greeting her and shit. I didn't give really zero fucks about that. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Baku brushing his teeth because he had the metal in his mouth. That this tasteful metal because he didn't really want it. That's nice, and I feel like him keeping the medal will be motivation for him to do better. Because that's like, keep it, because uh, all Mike said is keep it as like a, a plaque of shame of how you fucking won this shit. To make you, you know, proceed better, help you train better, so you could be on deck who's in a uh, show toast level. So I think, you know, that was no good wording to add it in there. Because, you know what I mean, if I wanted some shit and some bitch shit, I ain't want that shit, bro. I wouldn't even want that shit. I wouldn't want that shit. So I understand where Baku go coming from. But I feel like we do need like some kind of episode or some some kind of training arc with him showing how he's gonna progress or how he is progressing in order to 
whatever the fuck he doing um to proceed and surpass Deku or at least get on the same level as Deku in Miradora because right now they ain't doing shit homie um you they bitches it's not even to me it's not close no more it ain't close no more unless this nigga betrays the village and do some weird shit like Sasuke this nigga ain't gonna that's it but that's been my review Make sure you guys watch my Attack on Titan video I'll upload later on today. I'm going to actually catch up to it right now after this video ends. <sighs> Do my Berito review or prediction. And then I'll watch Dragon Ball Super. Because I don't want to watch Dragon Ball Super first and be in a pissed off mood the rest of the damn reviews. Y'all niggas think I'm playing in these reviews, bro. That's the Dragon the Super sucks. It fucking sucks. And I got a fan base who are on my channel who want to see the reviews. That's the only fucking reason why I'm still watching this shit. But My Hero Academy, Attack on Titan, Berto, they're doing the right shit. And I love viewing and watching these series. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good shit. Your boy got work today. So I'll see you guys next video.